Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about quantum adresia imaging. So this is the congenital obstruction of post-renasal aperture. Most common signs and symptoms of bilateral quantum adresia respiratory stress in newborn. Unilateral quantum adresia or stenosis, chronic pollen, unilateral urinary in older child, inability to pass nasal gastric shoot through nasal cavity beyond C to 4 CL, despite RH, teeth, lung, on radiogram. Other science symptoms, nasal stuffiness, grunting, snorting, Low pitch struggle may proceed presence in other patients with an recognized adrenal stenosis as nasal foreign body. Clinical profile: bilateral implant with respiratory stress, unilateral child, young adult with unilateral foreign renovate. Imaging: unilateral or bilateral osseous narrowing. A posterior nasal cavity with complete absorption by associated membrane and or body fat. Sickening of warmer, major bobbing of posterior muscle, plus minus air free level in absorptive nasal cavity, unilateral in up to 75, more arrived predominant. Bilateral in up to 25, 75 of bilateral cases have other anomaly. This is the axial non-contrast and MCG through the upper quantity in a chart of a complete process, right corner absorption, secondary to shoes of an enlarged woman to the second majorly portion posterior muscular maximum. So here is another case. So, significant narrowing of the uh, maxilla, a wide woman, small membrane transversing to the stenotic horny and bilateral nasal cavity air fluid Another CT obtained at the upper aspect of the quarry in six weeks old with a right nasal obstruction demonstrate complete obliteration of the right corner by the second woman. Choose to the second posterior major maxilla. Again, this is the bone CT, 2 mm, more inferior in the same patient, so stenotic horn and crossing membrane, not an uh, uncommon, appear in patient with mixed atresia with bony and membranous component. So an infant with bony coronal atresia on the right and membranous coronal atresia on the left. Much less debate majorly and the former is sick. Treatment establish or airway immediately for proper breathing. 
membrane surgery is here, may be perforated upon passage of nasal gastric tube. Surgery via elevate respiratory syndrome. Transnasal endoscopic laser assisted technique. Endoscopic approach is frequently used for simple membranes and bony atresia. In a unilateral atresia without respiratory distress, recommend waiting to do surgery after six months of age and of which more than five kg when possible. Plus minus adjuvant use of stand in select case. Bilateral bony atresias may require transpalatal resection of vomer with coronal reconstruction. Post-operative scans and incomplete resection of atresia plant are best evaluated with bone CT. Thank you.